Beginning in April, the Cumberland County Public Library and Information Center will host the traveling exhibit, Fighting the Fires of Hate, America and the Nazi Book Burnings. The exhibit is on loan from the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C. And it's part of a larger series of exhibits and programs presented by our community's arts, cultural, and historical organizations designed to promote diversity and tolerance. Librarian Maggie Hargrave of the East Regional Branch tells us more about this poignant exhibit, which reminds us of the importance of free thought and free speech. Fighting the Fires of Hate, America and Nazi Book Burnings exhibit is um, actually a traveling exhibition from the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. Uh, we are having it on loan April 1st through May 22nd. It'll actually be um, on the second floor of the headquarters library downtown. And we're lucky enough to um, have this um, exhibit. And we're actually, um, there'll be three other exhibits downtown at the Arts Council and the um, Transportation Museum. And th with the Arts Council, we've coordinated um, tours so that schools and groups can sign up for tours through the Arts Council website and that they can actually look at all three ex exhibits um, in one day at set times. And the ex exhibition is a self-guided tour. Um, we'll have different kiosks. Um, there'll be reproductions of posters, um, documents, photographs, books, as well as some audiovisual content. Uh, the museum is also providing brochures for people to take, and then the library will be providing some additional information as well. And the library is also hosting different programs um, at many of the branches. The Bordeaux branch is going to have some book clubs, um, some professors from Methodist University coming to speak about book burning, um, popular music during World War II, as well as some degenerate arts. Um, sure. East Regional is having programs. Um, downtown will actually be showing Schindler's List um, in April, as well as Matt Duricio will be coming both um, to the Bordeaux branch and North Regional to talk about weapons during World War II. Even in World War II, when the Germans were burning books um, in these huge bonfires, America saw it as um, a symbol against the democratic spirit, and they were really using it as a push um, during the war effort. And even today, people are still burning books. I mean, it is still a symbol. Um, you're burning not only the book, but the beliefs and the ideas and the thoughts that are contained in it. You're really burning what the contents, not just a paper book. And that we as Americans and even libraries, we have a freedom of speech and a freedom to read. And libraries are a place where Americans can do this. We have a wide variety of topics here, um, many of which can be controversial, but we allow people to have that freedom, the, the democratic freedom to read what we want, to say what we like. Um, and that is our symbol to the American people as we don't also we also don't want to forget um, what the Nazis did and what was happening then and even today with the book burnings against that freedom to read and the freedom of thought and expression and speech. The Nazis were trying to burn anything that was against the German spirit. They just wanted to cleanse um, their country of those thoughts and of those writings and that was what was put in um, the book burnings and the fires. It was an attempt to control um, what the people thought, what they were reading and learning. Um, it was part of the propaganda campaign um, that the Nazi party was the right party, the Nazi way of life and way of thought were the right ways of thought and everything else was un-Germanic, unclean, um, and should not even be available. Even today, people are still burning what um, they feel shouldn't be made available. Um, one example, a little bit in the past, but in the 1990, uh, 1992, in uh, Bosnia, I think it was, they burned one of the academic libraries, and I think they lost 1.5 million books, um, rare manuscripts, newspaper, journals and newspapers going back 100 years, destroying that knowledge um, and those thoughts and ideas. Even more recently, Harry Potter. There were some people who were very against Harry Potter and what the books, what they thought the books could stand for, and they didn't want their children or their community reading that, so they burned their copies. And that was in America. It wasn't happening somewhere else. It was happening here. And that's what we want to make sure that we don't forget um, 
that this is happen that it did happen that it is happening and that we have a right um, to protect our free freedoms to protect um, our freedom of speech and the freedom of learning and that we can learn from the past and we can hopefully not make those mistakes in the future. I invite you to come down starting April 1st. We'll be upstairs in the headquarters library through May 22nd. Um, the ex exhibition will be available as, um, with library hours, 9 to 9 Monday through Thursday, 9 to 6 Friday and Saturday, and 2 to 6 on Sunday. And if you're a school or even have your own group, we invite you to sign up for a tour. Um, it is self-guided and you can sign up for the tours through the Arts Council website or just stop on by during your free time and we will have information available um, for beyond what is showing at the exhibition materials that you can check out from the library. So I invite you to stop by and see us April 1st.